Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Actually, I think I forgot something in the house. Anyway, welcome to today's video. It is already noon. Ellie and I are out here, the chores are done. The animals are fed and watered and out there enjoying the day. I actually came out this morning and helped Sam with chores. Sophie slept in, it was Sunday, and Gabby slept in. Gabby actually comes out earlier now. After Tino gets his feed in the morning, Gabby actually comes out and it does his morning walk. Because we're still making this farm our home, I wanna show you guys any little um, changes that we make and stuff that we that we fix up. So I'm gonna show you guys, quick update. All right, so this area is getting cleaner and cleaner. <laughs> Today, this morning, I hung up Sophie's ribbons. These are just some of Sophie's ribbons, the ones that she kept in the barn. These are all from Finney. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave this trunk here. I actually have been thinking about putting it back here. I think it looks better. You can't really see it. Yeah, definitely looks better. Anyway, so that's all. I just put the ribbons up there. This morning I also cleaned out my tack bag. I wish you guys were with me. You would have been shook at all the junk that was in there, but I have it all uh, situated now. Turns out I'm a hoof pick hoarder. We have a lot of hoof picks on our farm. Uh, we all have our own. And then I have these four. I only like the ones that have the brushes, but then we had a ton more. So I filled up these two bags, these two extra bags with brushes. And those are for like when my grandkids come over or this doesn't actually go in here. But anyway, those are for like whoever needs brushes, if somebody comes over or else if we just need to grab a brush on the go, but these are our extra brushes. I showed you the other day that Sam hung up all that stuff. I'm gonna take those little signs. I only have three because Penny doesn't have one and I don't think Chino has one. And I was thinking I'll just hang them up here. Oh, even though these are not just these horses halters. Whoa, hold on here. I don't think they're gonna fit. Oh, well, maybe they will. Anyways, I thought I'd hang them up there. It, actually, it looks really cute. I have one more. It's Willows, so it'll go up there. And then our fly masks. This will be for something else. I don't know what yet. We don't want Willow to go out into the grass field, even though she really wants to, because she struggles with her weight. She's a mini, so it's perfect. She's perfect to keep Chino company, but then the problem with keeping Chino company is that she eats a lot. So we give Chino all his food in the morning. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And then uh, no matter how much we give him, she eats the lion's share. And she doesn't need the lion's share, and he does need the lion's share. So we're doing this thing where we keep him in his stall. So the Gabby walks him three times a day, but we keep him separated in his stall while he eats his breakfast and his lunch. So he's had all of his breakfast. He's still finishing. He has about a quarter of his breakfast left. It's noon. This is what he gets for lunch, and then he gets two times this again for dinner. So for now, this is where it is. We need a new horse, you guys, just to keep Willow company during the day. Like, Chino will go out there later in the afternoon. Someone said today that horses need to eat all day long, and it's true unless you're really short and really old. If you're short and old, then you need to eat less. <laughs> I do not see a single horse. Don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. Hey, Stormy boy. How'd you get a fly mask on? Oh yeah, you were in your stall. Do you guys remember when I said that our horses love their new front fly masks? Well, uh, Sam opened the door to go outside before I could get pennies on this morning. And then I tried to like follow her out and put it on, but well, I lied. They do not want fly masks on. They are still the best ones we've ever used. And if I can catch her, I'll put it on her, but she still resists it. <laughs> she does not want it. In the barn, Sam hung up cross ties. He's gonna buy more cross ties. Chino chewed this one to bits. So this is Willow's area or whoever wants to be here. Uh, there's one there and then there's one here. And then he hung up cross ties over here. Uh, he, like I said, he needs to buy more pairs. So then he's gonna hang one up over there, but he's worried if he hangs them up on Chino's stall that Chino is actually going to chew them and he does. So we're trying to find another spot because we need at least three sets of cross ties. He got a bunch of these from Timu. So we ordered these from Timu. We, Timu, we used them at the other barn, this kind. And he has one there, one there. But every time we come down in the morning, Chino has it knocked on the ground. <laughs> 
And then we have one here that has Storm's halter. He's super proud of himself for getting all this work done. I actually gave him a job this morning. I mean, I want him to make a gate for us in the horse field, like a, so that we can go through the electric fencing. But look at our footing in the dirt paddock. Do you guys see it? It's actually sand. We actually have sand. Some of our friends have sand in their paddock too. It's just weird to see it, but it's really good for drainage. So it makes it so that there's not a ton of mud in your paddock, but I'm just so surprised. We had clay at our old house, different areas, different, different kind of footing, but yeah, it's really neat. Every time I go walking around, I just am reminded of the beach. So the last thing that we did, oh, actually this is not the last thing. I'll show you the last thing. So we put, hi babies. <laughs> we put a little goose house here because I saw like this big, huge eagle thing flying around yesterday, screaming for its friends. Totally made me panic. <laughs> I was freaking out when I saw that thing. And I don't know if that's enough. Like, is this enough? They can run in and then obviously something's not gonna be able to swoop down and catch them from the sky if they run in. But are they gonna know to run in? I'm finding it really hard to figure out what to do with these guys. They're really close to my heart, especially the goose. I love her. I don't know if you guys can see, but she has so much personality in her little eyes. She's like, I love you, I love you. I love you too. Hi, baby. Isn't she so sweet? And then the duck is not as friendly. I mean, she is still really friendly, but she's afraid to be caught. Whereas the duck, she just, or the, the goose, she just stands there and I pick her up and she's happy to be held. She like often snuggles her head right into my neck and everything. She makes me really happy. So I just wanna make sure that they're safe. So trying to find a spot that works for them because we need to be near water and I need to be able to lock them up at night has been a bit of a struggle. So I'll show you what Sophie and I might do. So I'm gonna have Sam put a gate, like, you know, just with the wires and then how we had it at the other house so that I can come through here when I need to. Because otherwise, shoot, I got a rock in my shoe. Otherwise, we have to go all the, like, putting up all these fences and gates and stuff means that we have to walk all the way around to go places, like to the other barn. I have to go there a completely different way. I used to be able to get here from this paddock here. I used to be able to just walk through there. Hi, little mini. We're gonna have a lunge in a few minutes. So I'm going to down to the other barn to show you the changes we've made there. I was going to groom you this morning and now you're a mess. We've actually been feeding Chino and Willow in hay bags, which works perfectly. And then Sam did this and I don't think he should have but I don't have the heart to tell him. So what he did was he hung up some screws here so that we can use this to fill hay bags, which are working um, because it lets the horses eat all day long and it gives them the amount of hay that they're supposed to have each day. But the problem is, is that if the horses come along and rub their heads on this, which they have been rubbing on stuff, it's probably not a good idea. He should have maybe done it over there in that corner. Also, this is the scale that we've always used. We have a little bucket that we that we hook up and then we can weigh um, how much hay. Someone asked me today, how do you know Chino's getting enough hay? And it's because our vet recommends that he gets 15 pounds twice a day because he's a big horse. Like uh, Stella used to get nine pounds twice a day. It goes on weight, goes on the size of the horse. Um, but we opt it because no matter how much we give him, he isn't gaining. And part of that is because Willow eats the lion's share of the food because that's what she's like. So right now we're trying to separate them and see if that helps. Down there are best friends. All right, so we're gonna go down to the other barn. I'm gonna tell you guys all the things, like we love it here. We love it, it works for us. Like it's actually so awesome. Oh, I'm headed down to the other barn. What are you doing? Yeah, lazy Sundays are for like fixing up your barn, getting things ready. But what I was trying to say is that even though we love this farm so much, there are some things that have been really hard and I'm gonna tell them to you in this video. Is there anything about this hard that this farm that makes it hard for you? Um, yeah, parking the horse trailer. Parking the horse trailer? There's no like, 
nice roundabout or anything. No roundabout? So you find it hard to park the horse trailer and Sam gets really yeah. stressed when he can't park properly. One thing that's really hard for me at this farm, I got a list. I got a list, you guys. Um, I'm gonna take this stuff oh, down to the other farm and I'll tell you on the way there. But uh, one, our dogs are not settled here. So come on, Ellie. Oh wait, Ellie can't come. So actually I should start with the fact that this, ho ho this farm is like two farms in one. So when you come out the back door, your yard, the whole yard and everything is completely separate. It's for the dogs. This is where the dogs go. And our old farm, the dogs could just run free and be everywhere. But to be free and run everywhere, they have to go through gates. And for some reason, they're not as comfortable with the horses on this farm. I don't know if it's like the horses are closer or what it is, but yeah. the goose hears me. She's like, come here, mama. <laughs> um, and the goats hear me too. <laughs> But yeah, it's like two different farms and it makes it hard because the dogs haven't found their rhythm here yet. Ellie, you can't come in here. So this is like a problem. Like Ellie is used to coming everywhere with me, but she can't go where the goats with me. She can't go in the goats. But if I lock her in this little section while I work with the goats, then she just climbs underneath that fence. So it's frustrating because we, Sam and I tried to take Molly and Ellie for a long ride around the property yesterday we rode the tractor and we went all over the whole property and we couldn't take them because molly wouldn't go without gabby the only dog that's actually settled is daisy dog <laughs> and the reason is is that she comes outside and she doesn't see a single horse or a single electric fence and she loves that so daisy is living it up and the other dogs don't know where to go yet they don't know where to go they don't know what to to do so that's frustrating. Another part is that our animals are not integrated with one another. Nobody, I'm worried about the cat with the duck and the goose. Plus the goats, no animals can go near the goats because the goats want to kill everyone. I don't know if you guys will like this stuff. It's nice and fresh though. None of the animals are integrated and it's really frustrating. And a part of that reason is, is because this farm is like two different farms. There, are, everybody is separated so far, which leads me to like number three thing that's so frustrating. Dare I say it, but I think this farm is too big. That's some fresh hay for you guys. But eat the weeds first. <laughs> Everything is so far away from each other. Like the chickens are on one side of the property, the goats are on a completely other side of the property, and then the horses are in the middle. Nobody can really see each other. We're trying to fix that but it's hard to integrate animals together when they can't even see each other. Stay out. So you're probably thinking, get to the problem, Laura. That doesn't seem like a problem. Well, the problem is that I find, Ellie, we're having to choose. What the heck did I lose my dog now? We're having to choose between spending time with the dogs or spending time with, time with the goats or spending time with the horses. Like, do you not understand that the goats don't like you? I put her in the barn. Come here, over here. Come here, over here, look, over here. I put her over, I put her in the barn, whoa, just in the nick of time. Put her in the barn to keep her safe. And that's what I'm trying to say is, we're having to choose between who we wanna spend time with. And it's my dream, and I think it's a my girl's dream, that our dogs can follow us anywhere. Like this is a huge property, and I want them, I want our dogs to be able to run more. And how it's been right now is that they're running less because, they're kind of confined to just the backyard or they have to be locked out for their safety. Like Ellie, she wants to be with me all the time and I miss that, but I can't take her when I go to the goats because the goats try and headbutt her and she's scared of them. Anyway, that's those are my problems. Hopefully you guys understood. I'm not good at explaining things. We put the fridge in here today. So I have to clean it out. It's a little messy. I'm gonna clean it out today and get that all ready. And also I have to bring down a pitchfork, a horse pitchfork, which I have ready to go. I just need to grab it. So now you know all the problems. <laughs> oh, and the last one, I don't know if I explained it, but the duck and the goose are so far where they sleep with the chickens to bring them to where we're trying to integrate them into the farm over on this side of the farm. So right now they're over on the horse side of the farm. I wanna bring them over to the goat side of the farm. 
and I'm stressed with keeping them safe. I'm worried about the cat attacking them, and I'm worried about predators from the sky. Um, so then we were thinking, like, since we're trying to bring them over to this side of the barn because there's water over here, there's no water where the chickens are. And I were thinking that at night when we lock them in, that we should put them in here, in this barn, in a stall. So that is something that we're considering. The only thing is if the cat ever comes back, he went missing yesterday, um, he can get in the stalls. So there's that. But basically we're still trying to figure this out and trying to figure out what works easiest for us. Right now we're carrying babies all over the place. Carrying dogs, carrying babies, trying to get everybody happy to one another. Maybe it just takes time, that's what I'm assuming. Anyway, let's get on with the video, but those are the things I wanted to tell you guys that don't work for us in this farm, and I feel like we're going to figure them out and we're going to like get it worked out, but for now, we're feeling like things are too spread out. I have to make a little rig. To... They're in my van. They're in your van? I think so. Can you watch Storm? Yeah. Gad is happy and I love it. Hi, handsome. Oh, you pooed. That was kind of rude. Wow. Look at that butt. Look at that butt. He's like looking at my, me saying, yeah, look at your butt. I love a big butt. He's got a little scratch on his nose. All of our horses have little scratches. I think it's from the wood that they're like trying to scratch their face on. All right, so what are I we doing? put the stirrups down seven holes. Why? Okay. Oh, because of Gabby? Yes. All right, so tell me what we're doing. Uh, Sophie's gonna ride. Yeah, Sophie's growing really tall. She's going to be 5'9", like me. So how are you getting them down there? Uh, we go through like I did with Willow. How'd you get Willow down there? We went through those gates that we normally did. Yeah, so that's the problem. Like, getting from one area to the other is is going through like 100,000 gates. Wow, that's a lot of hoses. <laughs> and we have two down at that barn. We have one huge one up at this barn. Yeah. Uh-oh. All right, we got four dogs, three dogs. Spare hoses. Are you bringing your horse? How am I going to ride with that horse? We'll go get him. You bring the ladder too, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah. So if you just ask Stor Gabby if Storm will spook at the goats. And Gabby said no, they have bells. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. What? Honey is so mad. She keeps oh. I see, honey. She's throwing a fit behind. She was throwing a fit behind the gate. I, I walked out. She's like, "How dare you?" Well, this is storms. Look, storms can hear the duck and the goose. Right, so the duck and the goose can hear us. They're calling to us. And then any second, we're gonna get bombarded by goats. She got in. Perfect. This is where she wants to try. She's just doing western, slow. All right, so. This works out well for me because I can sit in the shade. How come you have a saddle on him today? Because my brain clicked and then for the first time because there's those things. Oh, so she's nervous about the goats. So, um, <laughs> so Storm is interested in the goats. He's like, how can I dominate you? <laughs> you I hope you know I'm the boss of you. Dogs, everybody in here. Come on, come on Molly. Come on, stay here. <laughs> you gotta stay. <laughs> He's like, oh no, we're in goat land now. Oh, look. <laughs> He's like, wow, you're so little. He likes them. He likes baby animals. <laughs> he does like babies. He likes baby anything. I should ride with a goat on me. <laughs> ride with the goat in here with you. The goat could run in front of you and then Storm oh, could just chase it. Storm? If Storm would canter and that goat would be walking in front of him, he wouldn't hit it. Yeah. <laughs> He's so slow. Everybody's interested in the he goats today. Them. Yeah, he does like them. So, I was just complaining about how it's been hard integrating everybody. And here we are, integrating everybody. We've got the he dogs. Likes them so much. He's going to be dragging me to them this whole ride. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. It's going to be interesting. He's like, what's up there now? I think right. he's good. Molly, come on in here. 
So five. we definitely head. don't think that this, like this is perfect for Gracie. I'm just gonna lunge her in a little bit. This is perfect for like walk trot. This is perfect for and Western. Like, yeah, this is yeah, cool. like it's tiny, but I mean. <laughs> the goats are like, let us in, we want to be with you. But really what they want to do is Tilly especially wants to ram the dogs. <laughs> Ruby's being brave. Normally, she's not a brave yeah, girl. Oh, <laughs> watch her head. Oh, boy. All right, here she goes around. Hey, Molly, stay. I think you could probably go the whole. You need to really use your corners in this round space. Go right up to that fence and see how he does. Uh oh, go get her, Gabby. Gabby. Ruby, stay. <laughs> a, goat, a goat snuck in. <laughs> Close the gate as tight as you can. Hey, Ellie, get over here. Oh, <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> Like I said, nothing on this farm is easy right now. We're still trying to figure it all out. We're gonna have to use the whole arena, the whole ring. He's like, wait guys, there's food here. Yeah, you're not having that food, but let him put his head down if he wants to. Slow in the camera because... Remember, you gotta go nice and slow and easy. So her coach taught us. Just jog, slower That's than it. that. Remember not to slouch. Easy. The, her coach helped us unlock what Storm likes. He likes her to post very lightly and he likes her to sit up really tall. When she does those things, he lowers his head. Ruby! I need a whip. Every time! Every time he, he does it. He will chase Gabby wherever she wants to go. Ruby, Molly, stay. Oh, God, this is fast, Gabby. Oh, I can't. Oh, <laughs> 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 He almost caught you, too. Let's do that by ourselves. <laughs> Don